China just shocked the world by flying a fighter jet that shouldn't exist yet. On December 26, 2024, videos surfaced showing China's brand new J-36 sixth generation stealth fighter conducting test flights over Chengdu. This aircraft arrived three years ahead of schedule and represents technology that even America doesn't have operational yet. The balance of global air power just shifted overnight. Let's be clear about what we witnessed. Multiple verified sources, including Aviation Week, the War Zone, and Defense News, confirmed that China's J-36 prototype conducted its first public flight accompanied by a J-20S chase plane. This wasn't propaganda theater. This was genuine military aviation development that caught Western intelligence services off guard. The aircraft bears the serial number 36011, painted clearly on its forward fuselage, following the same convention that gave us the J-20 from its 2001 prototype marking. What makes this revelation so significant isn't just that China has a new fighter, it's that they've leapfrogged an entire generation of military technology. Ukraine isn't bluffing here. How do we know? Because every major defense publication and military expert who has analyzed the footage reaches the same conclusion. China has successfully developed and is testing a genuine sixth generation combat aircraft, while America's next generation air dominance program remains shrouded in secrecy and budget concerns. The J-36 measures approximately 23 meters in length with a 20 meter wingspan. When photographed alongside its J-20 Escort, the size difference becomes immediately apparent. This isn't just another fighter. It's an entirely new category of aircraft that defense experts describe as an airborne cruiser. The most striking feature is its revolutionary three-engine configuration. Two engines feed from lower lateral intakes using diverterless supersonic inlet technology similar to the F-22, while a third engine draws air through a dorsal intake positioned on top of the fuselage. This unusual power plant arrangement serves multiple strategic purposes that we'll examine in detail. Let's take a deeper look into these engines for a moment to understand just how advanced this configuration really is. The twin lower engines provide massive thrust for supersonic cruise operations while carrying heavy internal weapons loads. But it's the upper engine placement that reveals China's true innovation. Defense analysts theorize the aircraft could potentially operate in different flight modes. During penetration missions into heavily defended airspace, the J-36 could shut down its lower engines and operate solely on the dorsal engine to minimize infrared and acoustic signatures. This represents a level of stealth operation sophistication that no current Western fighter can match. The cockpit configuration reveals another crucial detail. Dual HUD reflections confirmed through photographic analysis show this is a two-seat aircraft with side-by-side -side seating, similar to the Su-34 or F-111. This arrangement suggests the J-36 is designed for complex, long-duration missions requiring dedicated weapon system operators alongside pilots. The internal weapons architecture represents perhaps the most significant advance over existing fighters. Three separate weapons bays allow the aircraft to carry diverse payloads simultaneously. The central bay measures approximately 7.6 meters and can accommodate cruise missiles or multiple air-to-air -air weapons, while smaller lateral bays handle defensive missiles. Ground imagery reveals the central weapons bay is large enough to house the PL-17 air-to-air missile with its 400-kilometer range. That's a weapon specifically designed to threaten critical Western assets like aerial refueling tankers and AWACS aircraft that form the backbone of modern air operations. When you can eliminate the tankers, you effectively ground the entire strike package. The tailless Diamond Delta wing design isn't just for stealth, it's optimized for supersonic efficiency and extended range operations. Defense experts estimate operational radius exceeding 2,000 kilometers without refueling, crucial for Indo-Pacific operations where distances between bases and targets span thousands of kilometers. The sensor suite shows clear sixth-generation characteristics that put it ahead of anything currently flying. Side-looking radar arrays in the forward fuselage, similar to the Su-57's L-band arrays, provide enhanced situational awareness. Multiple electro-optical systems suggest comprehensive passive detection capabilities that could operate effectively in heavily jammed environments. This aircraft didn't appear overnight. The development timeline largely matches what Western intelligence expected, but the execution exceeded all predictions. Dr. Wang Haifeng, chief designer at Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, publicly announced sixth-generation research in January 2019.
Chinese state media confirmed progress throughout 2021 and 2022. U.S. Air Force General Mark Kelly acknowledged Chinese sixth-generation development in September 2022, noting China's system-of-systems approach similar to America's NGAD program. Kelly specifically mentioned exponential reductions in stealth signature and improvements in processing power and sensing capabilities the J-36 appears to demonstrate. The timing of the December 26th reveal was deliberate, coinciding with Mao Zedong's birthday. More importantly, it signals China's confidence in publicly competing in sixth-generation aviation rather than developing capabilities in secret. They wanted the world to see this aircraft. But you see, unlike traditional fighters designed for specific roles, the J-36 appears optimized for what military analysts call multi-domain operations. Its large weapons bay can accommodate cruise missiles for precision attacks against high-value targets across the first and second island chains. The aircraft's stealth characteristics and extended range make it particularly suited for operations against forward-deployed U.S. and Allied bases. More importantly, the J-36's size and power generation capability position it as a command and control platform. The two-seat configuration allows for dedicated battle management, potentially coordinating swarms of unmanned aircraft in contested airspace. This represents the loyal wingmen concept taken to its logical conclusion. Not small drones supporting manned fighters, but a heavily armed command aircraft directing autonomous systems. That's a capability that changes the fundamental mathematics of air combat. The J-36's emergence creates immediate pressure on Western sixth-generation development, particularly the USNGAD program. While American officials maintain that secret demonstrator flights occurred as early as 2020, no U.S. sixth-generation aircraft has been publicly revealed. Current NGAD development faces significant challenges, including cost concerns at approximately $300 million per aircraft and ongoing program reviews. The J-36's public emergence forces accelerated decision-making and potentially increased funding for Western programs. Multiple aviation experts have analyzed the December 2024 imagery and concluded it represents authentic military development rather than propaganda. Tyler Rogaway from the War Zone notes the footage appears authentic while Andreas Ruprecht, the leading Western expert on Chinese military aviation, acknowledges current evidence suggests genuine development. Crucially, multiple independent civilian sources captured consistent aircraft behavior across different filming locations. The progressive revelation pattern, from grainy distant shots to detailed ground imagery, matches authentic Chinese military programs rather than disinformation campaigns. The appearance of purpose-built infrastructure, including a distinctive white-slatted jet blast barrier constructed in December 2024, provides additional authentication markers that would be difficult and expensive to fake for propaganda purposes. While the J-36 represents genuine technological advancement, important limitations must be acknowledged. The aircraft remains in early flight testing, with operational capability likely years away. Complex systems integration, pilot training, and maintenance infrastructure development require extensive time and resources. Claims about exotic propulsion technologies should be treated with skepticism. Credible evidence suggests conventional turbofan engines, likely WS-10C variants with potential WS-15 upgrades. The three-engine configuration, while providing redundancy and power, also increases mechanical complexity and operational costs. Stealth characteristics, while advanced, remain unverified through actual radar testing. Computer modeling suggests significant radar cross-section improvements, but real-world effectiveness depends on materials science and manufacturing precision that can't be assessed from imagery alone. The J-36's emergence fundamentally alters Indo-Pacific air power calculations. Its extended range threatens previously secure rear area assets, forcing U.S. and Allied forces to operate from greater distances. Key targets include aerial refueling tankers operating from Guam and AWACS aircraft providing early warning coverage. Regional allies, particularly Japan and Australia, must now consider sixth-generation capabilities in their defense planning. Japan's FX program and Australia's future fighter requirements may require acceleration and enhanced capabilities to maintain competitive advantage. China's ability to develop and test a sixth-generation fighter ahead of schedule demonstrates significant maturation in its aerospace industrial base. This capability extends beyond military applications to commercial aviation and advanced manufacturing sectors, representing strategic return on decades of aerospace investment. 
For Western aerospace companies, the J-36's emergence increases competitive pressure and potentially accelerates innovation cycles. Traditional development timelines may no longer be sustainable when competitors can achieve major advances in compressed timeframes. The J-36 program is only the beginning. China is unlikely to stop with a single sixth-generation design. Shenyang Aircraft Corporation has already shown its own tailless fighter concept, which means multiple parallel projects are likely underway. Each design could serve different missions, giving China flexibility as it builds its next generation of air power. Timelines are still uncertain, but defense analysts suggest the J-36 could be ready for limited service as early as 2030 to 2032, assuming testing stays on track. If that happens, China could become the first nation to field an operational sixth-generation fighter, a major milestone in military aviation. The larger takeaway is clear. Technology in warfare is evolving quickly, often faster than expected. China's aerospace progress has repeatedly outpaced Western forecasts, showing why it's dangerous to underestimate competitors. The J-36 shouldn't be seen as proof of U.S. decline, but rather as a sign of strong competition. And competition drives innovation. For the West, this can be an opportunity and incentive to accelerate development and strengthen alliances. After all, pressure makes diamonds. The debut of the J-36 marks China's official entry into the sixth generation race. It demands attention, but not panic. The real challenge for the West is to respond with steady innovation, not short-term reactions. Sustaining next-generation programs, boosting cooperation with allies, and investing in asymmetric technologies like directed energy, advanced electronic warfare, and intelligence systems will be key. Air dominance won't be secured by a single aircraft, but by consistent innovation, teamwork, and strategy. The skies over the Pacific are becoming more contested, but they are far from lost. The question is simple. Is this the start of a global power shift or just the opening chapter of a new competition? Share your thoughts below. And while sixth generation fighters grab the headlines, another revolution is already reshaping the battlefield. Drones paired with artificial intelligence are changing warfare in ways that are just as important and possibly even faster.